Welcome to the Vitamins and Nutrients YouTube channel. Today we are discussing zinc. Zinc is a chemical element with the symbol zinc and atomic number 30. It is a bluish-white, lustrous metal that is commonly used in a variety of applications, including as a protective coating for steel, in batteries, in alloys, and in dietary supplements. Zinc is an essential trace element for many organisms, including humans, and is involved in a number of important biological processes. Zinc is a naturally occurring element that is widely distributed in the Earth's crust. It is the 24th most abundant element, and it is found in a variety of minerals, including sphalerite, smithsonite, and hemimorphite. Zinc is commonly extracted from ore through a process called smelting, which involves heating the ore in the presence of a reducing agent to produce a pure metal. In addition to its use in industry and manufacturing, zinc is also important for human health. It plays a key role in many biological processes, including DNA synthesis, protein metabolism, and immune function. Zinc deficiency can lead to a number of health problems, including impaired growth and development, reduced immune function, and decreased wound healing. Overall, zinc is a versatile and important element that plays a critical role in both industry and human health. Zinc is an essential nutrient that plays a number of important roles in human health, including immune system support, Zinc is involved in the activation of T-cells and other immune cells, and it is essential for proper immune system function. Wound healing. Zinc is involved in the formation of new tissues and the healing of wounds. Taste and smell. Zinc is necessary for the proper function of the taste and smell receptors. Vision. Zinc is involved in the metabolism of vitamin A, which is important for healthy vision. DNA synthesis and protein metabolism. Zinc is involved in the replication and repair of DNA, and it is necessary for proper protein synthesis. Growth and development. Zinc is essential for growth and development during pregnancy, childhood, and adolescence. Mental function. Zinc is involved in neurotransmitter function and may play a role in mood regulation and cognitive function. Inflammation. Zinc has anti-inflammatory properties and may play a role in reducing inflammation in the body. It's important to note that while zinc has many health benefits, it can also be toxic if taken in excess, so it's important to consult a doctor before taking zinc supplements. The recommended daily intake of zinc varies depending on age, gender, and other factors, and is measured in milligrams, mg. The following are the recommended daily allowances, RDAs, for zinc. Adult men, 11 milligrams. Adult women, 8 milligrams. Pregnant women, 11 milligrams. Breastfeeding women, 12 milligrams. Children 1 to 3 years, 3 milligrams. Children 4 to 8 years, 5 milligrams. Children 9 to 13 years, 8 milligrams. Adolescents 14 to 18 years, 9 milligrams for males and 8 milligrams for females. It's important to note that these are just guidelines, and individual needs may vary based on factors such as age, gender, pregnancy, and overall health. It's always best to consult a doctor or a qualified healthcare professional for personalized advice on nutrient intake. Good dietary sources of zinc include Oysters. Oysters are the richest source of zinc, with a single serving providing more than the recommended daily intake. Beef and pork. Beef, pork, and other red meats are good sources of zinc. Poultry, chicken and turkey are good sources of zinc. Beans and nuts, lentils, chickpeas, and almonds are good plant-based sources of zinc. Dairy products, milk, cheese, and yogurt are good sources of zinc. Whole grains, whole grains, such as whole wheat and brown rice, are good sources of zinc. Fortified cereals, some breakfast cereals are fortified with zinc, and can be a good source of the mineral. It's important to have a balanced diet that includes a variety of food sources to ensure adequate intake of zinc and other essential nutrients. In addition, individuals with certain medical conditions, such as malabsorption syndromes, may need to take zinc supplements under the guidance of a doctor. There are several forms of zinc that are commonly used in supplements, including Zinc sulfate. This is the most commonly used form of zinc in supplements, and it is readily absorbed by the body. Zinc citrate. 
This form of zinc is well absorbed and is often used in lozenges for treating the common cold. Zinc gluconate. This form of zinc is well absorbed and is often used in lozenges for treating the common cold. Zinc acetate. This form of zinc is well absorbed and is often used in lozenges for treating the common cold. Zinc picolinate. This form of zinc is well absorbed and is often used in supplements. The most important factor in determining the best form of zinc supplement is individual tolerance and absorption. Some people may experience digestive symptoms, such as nausea or stomach upset, when taking certain forms of zinc supplements. In such cases, switching to a different form of zinc may be helpful. It's always best to consult with a doctor or a qualified healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen. Zinc deficiency can cause a number of symptoms, including reduced immune function. Zinc is important for the proper function of the immune system, and the deficiency can lead to increased risk of infection. Slow wound healing. Zinc is involved in the formation of new tissues and the healing of wounds, and the deficiency can lead to slow healing. Loss of appetite and taste changes. Zinc is necessary for the proper function of the taste receptors, and the deficiency can cause changes in taste and a reduced appetite. Diarrhea. Zinc is involved in the regulation of water in the body, and the deficiency can lead to diarrhea. Skin problems. Zinc is involved in the metabolism of fatty acids, and the deficiency can cause a variety of skin problems, including acne, rashes, and eczema. Hair loss. Zinc is involved in hair follicle health, and the deficiency can cause hair loss. Impaired growth and development. Zinc is important for growth and development, and the deficiency can lead to stunted growth and delayed sexual maturation. Mental fatigue and irritability. Zinc is involved in neurotransmitter function, and the deficiency can cause mental fatigue and irritability. It's important to note that these symptoms can be caused by other factors as well, and the doctor should be consulted to determine the underlying cause of symptoms and the best course of treatment. Zinc toxicity can occur when an excessive amount of zinc is ingested, either through supplements or through contaminated food or water. Symptoms of zinc toxicity can include nausea and vomiting, abdominal cramps and pain, diarrhea, headache, dizziness, weakness, copper deficiency, high doses of zinc can interfere with the absorption of copper, leading to a copper deficiency. Anemia, chronic zinc toxicity can lead to anemia, as zinc interferes with the absorption of iron. It's important to note that chronic, high-dose zinc supplementation can lead to toxicity, even in the absence of symptoms. It's always best to consult a doctor or a qualified healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen and to follow recommended dosing guidelines. If you suspect that you have low or high levels of zinc, it's important to consult a doctor or a qualified healthcare professional for proper evaluation and treatment. Here are some steps you can take. Get a blood test. A simple blood test can measure your zinc levels and determine if you have a deficiency or excess. Review your diet. Your doctor may ask you to review your diet to see if you are consuming enough or too much zinc through food. Consider supplements. If you have a deficiency, your doctor may recommend a zinc supplement. If you have an excess, they may advise you to stop taking any zinc supplements and to avoid high zinc foods. Address underlying conditions. Low zinc levels can be caused by certain medical conditions, such as malnutrition, malabsorption, or chronic diseases. If an underlying condition is present, it will need to be treated in addition to addressing the zinc deficiency. It's important to avoid self-diagnosing or self-treating a suspected zinc deficiency or excess, as this can be dangerous and may cause harm. A doctor or healthcare professional should be consulted for proper evaluation and treatment. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative videos like this one.